Good morning. I went to the ladies' room. Glad I did my chores yesterday. I came out. There was a TV on up there. Still on. It's always on. It's fake. We know that. It's just been going ever since I witnessed homicides. Let's go downstairs. The TV. I've documented it. I don't need to elaborate this. Or whatever the word. Every time I make a video. Let's see what this dude's doing. Why not? He used to never watch TV like that until the homicides. There's a direct link. I can tell a judge that. It's fucking bullshit here. Okay, this is not locked. Or maybe it was. They came out. And these neighbors are totally involved in it, dude. You fucking tell me they're not, man. I have the same degree as all the cops do. I'm really tired of this. They're fucking corrupt here. It's obvious police misconduct, okay? Let's just get my shit together in here. This is really heavy stuff. It's very strange to have to film when you're in groceries, but you know what? It's for the better here. It really is. This is a fucking disgusting rat trap. All the filth everywhere, you know? I'll work on that today. That's so far my guidance. I gotta take it easy because they traumatize me here. They go out of their way. It's kind of my impression it is like, oh, that cat's really cute. It needs to be rehomed and taken to the vet. This guy fucking tortures his animals. I'm a witness to that too. And there's a little lovely DC lady going to the farmer's market, right? Everything's fine here, huh? Okay, um, anyways, my point. Um, during the Civil War, you know you had everybody for the Confederates or whatever, whatever, right? The little townspeople, that's what you got here, okay? So keep the perspective before you get all emotional, like what happened to our country? What's going on in DC? That's what's going on, all right? It's no different than the Civil War. But whatever they want to term this as, whatever, you're gonna have to ask other people besides me. But like the insurrection that fucking happened, I'm not imagining this shit, you fucking assholes. That insurrection, all the violence you're hearing and seeing about on the news, whatever they want to term that as, um, it is the this, this city, the citizens, and the lack of humanity, all the above that I've documented, goes uh, right with the Civil War type of, this is an, an analogy, but um, the townspeople are for it, you know, the little townspeople. They're all for it. Whatever, whatever. So that's what you got here. And so I don't know how they're going to handle that because you got a little town filled with some really fucking evil people. Hell fucking yeah. Going after ladies who make fucking bread. All the time. I make sourdough bread, dude. It's not a lot to claim. I do have an associate's. But they won't hire me or let me use my goddamn college degree no matter what I do. And so I guess I make bread and they still fucking come and knock on my door all the time telling me I'm crazy. Trying to take me out of my house for making bread. It's getting goddamn old. I need to recover from that. That's what my guidance is. Take it easy, this shit is fucking traumatizing, man. I'm making Napoleon lasagna. I would love to film that. And a well. <clears throat> He's got bacon. You can use Italian bacon, I suggest you do. And um, I'm not because I'm so poor. But it's got all this cool stuff with mozzarella cheese. It's like I have to make my own pasta. Because I can't. I'm sorry, I'm not making Napoleon lasagna. And 
putting that with cheap fucking dried pasta. Okay, this is dropping. Hold on. All right. Yeah, he's made no repairs. I don't want to talk about these perps, all right? They're perps. It's obvious. I've seen them high on drugs. They're fucking not to know that. I'm really over this. You can only talk about fucking drug addict perps, criminals, so much before you get tired of it. When the hookers live... Let's get the connection back. The landlord was so high that day, he came asking me for a syringe. Dude, you have to be high thinking this chick has a syringe, bro. He wanted to stick it on his cat. That's what he told me. I was the fucking freakiest shit I ever heard. I already seen him abuse his animals in that room next to mine. I do that too. This dude is giving me so much to do. I know that. I don't want to talk about him all the time. I just want to get my groceries in my room. I'm making Napoleon lasagna. I'm excited about that. Should try to make some Italian bread, but this is not a normal fucking uh, living environment or city. So doing these fun things like bread and stuff, shit, forget it. Fucking get it. And while you're doing it, you'll have the community mental health clinic come to your house and tell you I need to call them for help. Really? The hookers, everything, everyone else. No, they're good, girl. They don't need no help. You do. Okay, man. America's lost, people. But don't get upset. I'm the one that's upset because I'm an American. Um, it's the typical stuff with towns, people. It's regional, like I've been telling you. Certain parts of the United States hold their little citizens that are for this, whatever the fuck is happening right now, okay? They're all for it. That's a lot of the white ones take it almost religiously. Like they must have this white thing, this white war. It's like some of them, like I've told you a million times, if they lose the white war, they'll become discombobulated. It's like a religious thing to them. That's the best I can analogize it. You do the research and stop knocking on my door, telling me I'm imagining things. So the stuff that's happening, no, I don't need the cats always inviting themselves out. Is that okay? I need to wash my hands. It's disgusting filth here. All the little townspeople, we're gonna get this going. Our Navy command is gonna be tweaked out. That Navy command is gonna kick China's ass. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's what they think. I believe they do. They can fight better. Ask the townspeople. They can fight better in the Navy command on meth, man. It's a wonder drug. They just justify it because they're drug addicts. I told you that. That's all this is really about here. But look, I'm done talking about them. Let's see what they got. Send some Facebook living. Oh yeah. Carry it tortilla. On the crush diet, you don't want any starches, but I'm not doing crush diet because it's too stressful here. So I'm just making some adjustments. Hold on. I can't have my cat making all this noise all the time when I'm trying to film. I'm getting fucking tired of it. Okay, there. Um, okay. There we are. So, um, whatever I was saying is too, got too noisy in here. But, yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. I go through tons of aspirin now that I've lived here for headaches and stuff. I see why. It's really awful. There's for my Napoleon lasagna. That's going to be really nice. 
the Napoleon lasagna. I'm looking forward to that, to have that all by myself and no one come over. They just knock on my door and tell me I need to call for help. We know. Terrify me while I'm putting the lasagna and basil on top of the lasagna. I mean, the mozzarella. Terrify me. As she's placing the mozzarella down. Knock, knock, knock. There's a crew of the EMTs. Ma'am, you can't put that mozzarella down, ma'am. You need to put that basil down and that marinara sauce. Ma'am, you need to put that down. You need to come with us. All right. Yeah, she's all by herself in there. This is good. Let's go now. When am I not all alone? You guys got it that way. You love it. Don't offer me any jobs. Just isolate me and then keep knocking on my door. I'm fucking so tired of it. That's why I got a chill today. Here's another little crash diet. Now this is crash diet because it's vegetables. Vegetables and fruit are an abundance of freedom on the crash diet, which I wrote clearly what the crash diet is. Okay, I can't do this right now because of my misery I live through here. I just can't, I don't have it in me. But I can make some adjustments in Washington, D.C. Stop calling on my things. Stop. I can make some adjustments while living here with the food I'm eating. So there's for the Napoleon. All right, and there's my milk just for the Napoleon. Napoleon, awesome. Okay, I gotta put this away. I know, it's like, do this, do that, do this, do that. The fucking woman can't even have coffee. No, because I'm the only one doing everything all the time. And they're still knocking. Knocking, knocking. Hello, it's the EMTs. After the fuck everything I have clearly and legibly witnessed and wrote and tried to convey, what happens? Ma'am, hello, it's the EMTs. You need to call for help. What? Motherfucker, what? All right. Good thing I documented every fucking move these people made, almost, except when it was, in theory, too dangerous because they had really fucking scary people in here. Well, it makes sense now. So in very possible theory, they had fucking terrorists in here at a few times because on my account, there was like three or four times where I was like told, no, mommy, don't film this shit right now. And don't write it on no Twitter right now. Let that person who's in here leave the house. Then you can write it. Now, why would my guidance be that? Because the person's fucking really violent, probably, okay? And I'm in here by my goddamn self. But think I documented everything else so they can come knock, knock on my fucking door again. Because I need to call for fucking help. Not, not no police help. No, when I'm witnessing all these crimes every day, I need to call for my mind. I'm a sick human. As I make my Napoleon lasagna, all right? No, I can't get upset about this. I need to go sit back down. I need to put my fan on, and I need to finish my coffee. God bless America. Say goodbye.